Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Tanya Lady T and this is another edition of Lady T Sensations. Hey everybody, okay, now I went to Dairy Queen and again, this video is gonna be dedicated to Maple Poon, what's up? And Mookbong King. So anyway, um, I just wanted to dedicate these uh, this video to them because they are loyal uh, viewers and I view up their videos too. So you have to check out their um, ASMR and mukbang channels. Anyway, what did I get? What did I get? What did I get? <laughs> Box number two. I had to hurry up and get home and rush home so I could still eat it while it was warm and I just put the bag in the microwave and, and warmed it up just a little bit more. Okay. And what I have to drink is um some ice water. And I also ordered a um vanilla shake. And I told them to make it a little bit thick and to put some extra vanilla syrup in it so it can taste more vanilla-ny. Yes. The flavor, the flavor, the flavor. Y'all know I'm all about the flavor, so. And I, what I did is um, while, while I took off my work clothing and I said, you know what, I'm gonna stick this in the freezer. So let's do it. Now, the Dairy Queen that I went to had Orange Julius. Can somebody explain to me what that means? And I started to ask the guy who's, uh, you know, working there, but he was the only one. It was like a one man show. And I thought, oh, uh, where's your help? So I didn't want to try to bother him because he was rolling. And see, that's one thing my mama taught me or just I've learned. Don't, don't bother people unnecessarily when they're very busy. And you know, some people, it's like when they know you're busy, they want to just mess with you. And when you're when you're just chilling, you, they ain't nowhere to be seen. But when, as soon as they see you busy and busting knuckles to get something done, here they come with a whole bunch of nothing. But anyway, so let's taste that. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh, that's good. Yes, okay. Tiny, quit running your mouth and show the people what you got. Show them what you got. Okay. In the first box, I got a chicken buffalo snack wrap. Okay. And each one of these were under two, they were under two bucks, I believe. And, ooh, that smells good. I got, um, Two potato skins. It's got cheese and bacon on it. Yummy. And the third one, of course, is the pretzel sticks that Maple Poon was talking about. So anyway, y'all, let's get to doing it. Now, uh, let's do it like this. So everything is nice as nice and in a row. Do I got that right? Let's do it this way. So everything can be seen. Hope y'all can see that. And the sauce that came with uh, the pretzels so y'all can get an up close and personal look. It's called Zesty Queso Sauce. This is the sauce that once I was watching Maple Poon eat, I was like, okay, now y'all know I got to get it now because he's carrying on about this sauce. So, oh yes, that's, oh yes, that'll wake up your tongue. All right, let's get to going. I have to try this one first. And it is a soft pretzel. It's not crunchy, it's soft. And let me put the sauce right here so y'all can see.
Oh my goodness, that is so good. Once you put that sauce with the pretzel, yes, yummy. And he's right, you can only get this in a three, three come in the order. So if you want more, you have to order more. Now these potato skins, guess what? I'm finna dip this bad boy in this sauce as well. And this queso or queso sauce, it's got a little spicy kick to it. Oh! Yes! Talk about a snack attack. Oh my goodness, that's... Some days I have where my body just craves nothing but water. And today was one of those days. Today, I've been drinking nothing but water. And I want y'all to be able to see this real good. Thumbnail, thumbnail. <laughs> now, this here is a buffalo chicken wrap. It's got buffalo sauce in it. Um, looks like bacon. So, let's check it out. I'm going to eat this plain by itself because I want to taste the flavor of the buffalo sauce. Oh, that's good. It's mild, but it's good. And all this was freshly made, so it wasn't something sitting around where... Like, for instance, this tortilla that it's wrapped up in, it's fresh, it's soft. The edges aren't hard and crusty. Mmm. Oh, I like them. Ooh, I like them. Mmm. Mmm. I started to get a hamburger, but I just wasn't in the mood for a hamburger. So, mm. so like I said, Dairy Queen ain't just for ice cream anymore. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Love those. Got into an interesting conversation with a friend of mine as it relates to wealth. Mm. Maple poon, maple poon. Yes, sir, maple poon. I love a soft pretzel. And it's right slick and shiny. I want to lick. I want to lick it, but I ain't going to do that. Anyway, we were just talking about people who have wealth versus rich, rich people that are rich. And I don't want to get into the weeds of that on, on this video, but... As I'm getting older, I've learned how to respect money. Because when you're young, you know, not for all. 
not for all young people, because some young people have learned early on to save. But honey, if I knew what I knew back, if I knew back then what I know now about saving money, man, what you talking about? What? All you young people out there that's listening to your girl lady T, save now. I don't care if it's a dollar a week out your paycheck. Or for every dollar you make, save a dime. Whatever. Do it now. When you're in your 20s, save. I didn't really start saving and understanding the concept of saving until I was around about 32. Yeah, and I'm 46 now. But while you're in your 20s, save, save. I'm telling y'all, trust me, save. Because I'm telling you, my mind, I'm 40 shit, but my mind won't let me embrace that based on my age bracket, I got to work till I'm 67 before I can retire. I mean, of course, sure, 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 you can take an early retirement. But my, my body just ain't, my mind can't, wait a minute, you mean tell me I got to work another 21 more years? Really? <laughs> so anyway. And I know when you're young, you're having fun. I mean, I'm 46 and I have fun. I enjoy my life. I really do. But anyway, we were, the conversation was all about the differences of being rich versus being wealthy. And, and, and the correlation is, we were just talking about, like, people who are wealthy to just bring it to today. Or like your Bill Gates, your... Um, What's the man's name to own Facebook, the creator of Facebook? And I just recently found out that he uh, owns Instagram. Mark Zuckerberg, I think that's his name. Lord, Mark Z, how about that? Wealth. Uh, Bill Gates. Um, Steve Jobs. You know, uh, the Waltons who own the Walmart conglomerate. Um, those are, you know, again, I, I'm sure I'm leaving out some. Those are just ones that come came to my mind at the time and then you look at okay who do people you consider to be rich well you know you look at whether you look at basketball players uh uh different um rap artists r&b artists country artists you know you know um carrie underwood i love her music i love it so Again, I'm, I'm sure I'm just leaving out a whole lot. But anyway, for the sake of conversation, we'll be just talking. But we also were talking about how those people in that arena, I'm an avid reader, and people that are in that type of arena, whether you're in the rich arena or the wealthy arena. And I think they just put out here recently. There's like 60 some people in the whole world that are the richest or the wealthiest people in the world. In other words, they make up. Fifty percent of all the wealth in this world, and that's something. Six, sixty, some percent, or sixty. I think they said sixty-eight. There are sixty individual people in the world who make up fifty over fifty percent of the world's wealth. Is that when you think about it, your brain goes pop, 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 pop. And here's the other thing too. Our world is very big. And the United States only makes up 5% of the world. Just 5%. But we're still ranked in the top three world superpowers, if you will. 
and we only represent 5% of the world. So that's something to think about when you think about wealth and riches. Anyway, it was just an interesting conversation of what, what you think rich is versus wealth. Oh my God. So good. Some people pick at me. And not necessarily pick at me. But they observe me. Because I'm the type of person, listen, I'll ask questions. And people say, girl, you 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 just know how to talk to anybody, don't you? I say, yeah. That's how you learn. Here you are all off in left field. Don't know this, don't know that. And all you had to do is open up your mouth and ask a question. But see, sometimes people don't want you to, people don't want other people to know that they don't know something. That it somewhat, you know, belittles them or somewhat lowers their IQ. Listen. When you just don't know, you just don't know. And you got to embrace it. Ask the question. That's all you got to do. And just like at work, I was talking to one of our salesmen. And we happened to be talking about retirement because this particular salesman is 55. Well, with our 401k, you can withdraw out of your 401k at 59 and a half without penalty. So he said what he did, he said, you know what? If I want to retire at 59 and a half, this is what I need to contribute to my 401k so that Based on my life expectancy, I'm covered. So that's how much he start contributing. And I got to think about that thing. I said, Tanya, you know what? You're 46. You might have to cut out this or cut out that and contribute more. That way, If you don't want to work till you're 67, prepare now. Prepare. There's a prepared place for prepared people. So, anyway. Just something to think about. You know, here in this lifetime, you know, we all love to be entertained. I mean, God knows I do. <laughs> but it's also important to sometimes think, talk about stuff with people that are in a different arena, so to speak, than you are. And get their perspective. Get their knowledge. Because I'm going to tell you something. Over the past six years, I've learned a lot by just asking questions. It might have took that person that is giving you this information, it might have took them 20 years to learn or to get wherever they were trying to get. And I'm not trying to shortcut any type of struggle, if you will, or shortcut trying to get to this point. 
or get to the top or wherever you want to call it. No. Because if a person is willing to share with you information, like I said, it might have took them 20 years to get there. And what it took 20 years for them to do, you can learn in an hour. That's what's so awesome about knowledge. That's what's so awesome about even at, on YouTube in this community. You know. Mm. Mm. That's why God created so many diverse things. So we all to learn from one, one another. I think it's a beautiful thing. I mean, I really do. That's why I love YouTube. I, 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 I mean, you can get on here and find out how to undrain a, 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 your sink without having to call the plumber. Oh, so, you know, when you don't have to call the plumber. Now, if stuff get way to the left, uh, yeah, you finna spend some money. But I'm just talking about, or you thinking about making a major purchase, and you can get right on here on YouTube and somebody have done, have done a review on it. Again, sharing knowledge. I love ASMR community, mukbang community, because I'm telling you, I said, you know, I got, I'm tired of having to buy pills for this, buy pills. Man, these YouTube videos, ASMR videos, what? I put one of y'all on at night. Man, those tingling sensations. I say, you know, I say my prayers and everything, close myself in with the Lord, and I cut one of y'all on. About 20 minutes. I am, I am, I am golden. Oh, good cold water. So, anyway, I'm just babbling tonight. Sometimes, you know, you just be thinking about stuff. What can I do to make my life better? And you can also make other people's life better. You know, that's what it's all about. And this is what the sauce look like. <laughs> Last bite. But that sauce is good. It's got a little kick to it, but it is good. Well, yes. That was right down my line. Dairy Queen snacks. It ain't about ice cream that much anymore. Or not just about ice cream. What's y'all favorite blizzard from Dairy Queen? 
I love the wet walnuts and um the Oreo. Well, y'all, I'm finna chillax. Got home early from work. Yes, yes, yes. So now I'm finna sit back and chill. Catch up on a couple of shows. Then I'm go headed to bed. I'm going to put one of y'all on. Chill me right on now. And we're going to get back up in the morning and do it again. Anyway. All right. I'm out again. Thanks, Maple Poon and Moot Bone King. Love y'all. And again, I love all of y'all out there for supporting your girl, Lady T. Anyway, God bless. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.